So uh, this is year eight, and uh, every year we send a, I give a call, send an email to uh, early morning productions and let them know about the date. So I'm always, actually I check George's tour schedule always to make sure he's not because uh, we always invite him down. And uh, some years he can make it, some years he can't. And last year we were told he was, was going to try to make it, but on Saturday night, like tonight, but it was a really, really snowy night. And, uh, so started, ready to start, and he wasn't here, and so we held the room for like 15 minutes, and oh boy. And so reluctantly, I said, all right, Joe must go. First act, I don't do this stuff, the second act started. Halfway through the second act, it's a car, swirling snow all around, and opened up, and this man with the hair flying, and this awesome scarf with the aviator, came out of the car, and it was Gordon Lightfoot, and he hopped up, and he made it through the, the, the show. No, we can we sat down. And I never know when booking the show. I, I I like to get a whole variety of styles, right? Because the whole idea is to just showcase how diverse a writer he is and how many ways stylistically you can, you can interpret these songs and still make them work. But I went a little out in left field last year and I booked this uh, four man a cappella jazz trio. Uh, wow. right? And they were doing the railroad trilogy. Uh, I mean, it couldn't have been further from the way Gord recorded it. Uh, barbershop style. I was really worried. So I've been watching, but he seems to be digging it, right? <laughs> and obviously, he was, he was enjoying himself so much that, like, near the end of the first set, he said uh, to Holmes, the guy, the fellow who books the club, he says, you know, I'm having a good time. I'd like to, I'd like to, to do a tune, but I have to borrow a guitar. So I was closing the first set, and I had the honor of introducing Gord and lending him my own guitar. Wow. Have a little trouble? Mm -hmm. Fall the one who loves the best. 
Miner stopped to watch her as she walks. Nor love is not for sale. She will never fail me, cause I know I watched her grow. And the mother of my child waits for me.